Let's talk plantar fasciitis, shall we? My name is Holly Hireman, and I have been a lifelong sufferer of various types of foot pain. Right around the time that I was in college, I developed a condition called plantar fasciitis. I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what this crazy pain in the bottom of my foot and my heel was, but eventually it turned into bone spurs that should have been operated on. However, I was able to completely reduce those bone spurs down to nothing and eliminate my plantar fasciitis pain. Here are some things that you can do in order to eliminate foot pain as well as just get rid of your plantar fasciitis. You do not have to be a lifelong sufferer and yes, you can rise above and get beyond it. I'm going to recommend for you ice. Ideally, you wanna use ice for about 10 to 15 minutes, so set a timer and do this every single day. Another thing that you can do is massage. So you can actually take your fingers or even get a tennis ball or like a little hard massage ball, something like that. Find the area that feels inflamed and gently massage the area so that you can begin to release those that tension in those knots. So think about it just like if you have like knots in your neck or your shoulders, how massage helps that, it's going to help reduce that inflammation as well. Another thing that you can do is take um, over-the-counter medication, anything that is um, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug or an NSAID. Now what's that, okay? Ibuprofen, Advil, Aleve, pretty much any of the over-the-counter medications that you get, except for Tylenol. Tylenol does help with pain, but it doesn't have any um, anti-inflammatory properties to it. So um, taking those regularly could help to reduce that inflammation and help bring you back to that. Now if you're like, Holly, I don't wanna do that, um, try something like turmeric um, that you can get you can get that at any any drug food store, Amazon, over the counter, but turmeric is a natural way for you to decrease inflammation in your body. Now, probably the most important one is to stop doing any type of high impact activity. So jumping, running, high impact means when your foot is actually leaving the ground. Jumping, running, all that stuff. So you wanna stay on the ground, stay low impact at least until the inflammation is down and you have it completely under control. I'm not saying that you have to do everything low impact for the rest of your life, but definitely decreasing the impact that you're having on that foot or feet if you start to just do it on one foot, you're just <laughs> you you will start to develop other issues, right? Because we create a, an imbalance. So stay low impact for a time until you feel like your um, plantar fasciitis or your foot pain is under control, and then you can gradually start to bring that back in. Now let's talk about the last one, and this is my favorite stretching. So I'm going to show you two different stretches that you can do that will greatly reduce your plantar fasciitis pain. But here's the deal, you guys. You have to do these things on a regular basis. So every day, literally, it will probably take you five minutes a day. The icing takes longer, yes, but just do that while you are watching television or you're sitting around maybe on your computer sometimes. What I used to do is I would just put my um, my ice underneath my foot, set the timer, I would work, the timer would go off, I take the ice off, set the timer again, and, and I would just repeat that a couple of times and that drastically helps. Now why would ice help? Well. Ice is a natural way to decrease inflammation. So what it does is it um, immediately, when you put ice on, the body goes, oh, that part of my body is cold. So it's going, to, it's going to flood the area with new blood cells. So the new blood cells rush in to, to attempt to warm the area, but what happens then is that it draws out the damaged blood cells. And that really helps to, like, I wouldn't say increase, but it drastically speeds up the process of recovery. So icing any injury, pretty much any injury, is always a good thing. 10 to 15 minutes on, 10 to 15 minutes off, repeat, repeat, repeat. So I hope that these tips helped you. I'm gonna also show you those, those stretches, and I hope that you have a great day. Here's to living without foot pain. <laughs> have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye. So here's one stretch that you're gonna to wanna to do. You'll put your foot, see how, so this part of the foot right here, the, this part of the foot, okay? I want you to put that exact spot, okay? So just after the, like the ball of the foot, just behind the ball of the foot, you'll put that on a step, 
right across that, that area and then just completely relax. Now your knee is actually gonna be bent. So you completely relax and you'll hold that for 30 seconds. Knee is bent, okay? So what a lot of people do is they're gonna keep like pressure and tension on the ball of the foot. I want you to let that heel drop down as far as possible, keep the knee bent. Okay, 30 seconds and then you'll come up, rest it for a second and then do the same thing with a straight leg. You have two muscles in your calf, which both connect to your Achilles tendon, which wraps around to the bottom of the foot, and it connects right here, and that's where a lot of the plantar fasciitis pain comes from. So you can feel it all along the fascia here, or you can feel it here, or you can feel it in the heel, anywhere in the ankle. So you'll do that. So you'll, you'll let the foot drop down let that heel drop down, the leg is straight 30 seconds. And then you'll repeat that on each leg. Another stretch is this one, where you actually take the, the toes and you're gonna place the toes on the wall and then you're gonna bend the knee forward toward that wall. So you're really, it, it stretches the bottom of the foot a lot, quite a bit. Um, I feel this mostly like from where the toe I feel it mostly right here, like all along here. But the more flexible this part is and the more flexible this part is, then the less pain you're gonna have in your heel, your plantar fascia, and even in the ankle joint. So let me show you that again. So you'll take the toes, you push them up against the wall, and then you take your knee and press it forward toward that wall. And then you'll hold that for 30 seconds. Ideally, whenever you want to try to increase um, flexibility in an area, you hold it for 30 seconds, you rest, and then you'll repeat that two more times. So a total of three times at 30 seconds. Okay, so the toes against the wall, and then you push your foot forward, or rather your knee forward to create that. And I actually feel this in the back of my um, Achilles tendon as well. So I feel it back here too.